Here we are at the Spa Museum in Washington, D.C. And just this word, spa, excites my heart because it reminds me of the 12 spas that were sent into the Promised Land in the days when the children of Israel came out of the bondage of Egypt. And if you remember that story, 10 of them came back with an evil report. Why was it evil? Because it was a report of unbelief. And whatsoever is not of faith is sin, the Bible said. And there were two things, two things that made them disbelieve that they could succeed in taking the promised land. Number one, they said we were in our own eyes as grasshoppers and so were we in the sight of the giants. So how you see yourself is how the enemy sees you. And then they said the land swallows up the inhabitants thereof. So they were afraid of the bigness of the giants and the bigness of the responsibility of that huge land mass. They did not think they could manage it. And so often the same thing happens in our lives because by the way, in a sense, we're spying out a spiritual promised land filled with 7,487 promises in God's word. And some people come back from that exposure to the truth and say, it's too much. I can't do it. There's too much opposition, too many battles associated with being a Christian. But there's some Joshua and Caleb people that will also echo their statement. Let us go up at once and possess the land for we are well able.